Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Alright guys, so today I want to show you just a couple of advantages for web browsing on the Note 10.1. And now, the main, the main reason I want to do this is because the Note has two advantages for web browsing that you really can't do on another tablet. So I wanted to go over that. Um, and the first one is on the stock internet browser, which I don't typically use unless I'm doing it for this feature. And that is the multi-screen feature. So on the top right of the stock browser, you always have that multi-screen button so that you can bring up another app. Uh, so if you want to check out your emails while using, while doing the web browsing, you definitely can. Um, so it really is good at doing uh, more than one app at the same time. And a uh, very quick, still doesn't lag. As long as you're not running like a super amount of apps in the background, you just generally won't notice any kind of lag. And of course you saw a flash on the stock browser, so that's always nice. All right, so that's one uh, feature that uh, you have an advantage of on the stock one. Another uh, advantage is that it's able to see websites outside fairly easily. And the reason why that is is because you have the inverted feature. So on the options over here, you can actually go to settings. and go to, I believe it's advanced, nope, accessibility possibly, yes. So on accessibility you have the inverter uh, rendering. Now the reason why this is really nice is because it allows you to see websites clear, to, clear as day when you're outside. So now that I've switched that you'll notice this website will look very different. And it might, yes, there it is. So it's currently uh, just refreshing to be all rendered. Uh, but basically, it's like e paper now. So I can see this even if uh, sunlight is right behind me, I can actually see it very easily. And you can see it still doesn't really slow down when doing this. I mean, when you're loading it for the first time, it might load a little bit slower. But other than that, it still moves fairly quickly. So that's another advantage. And I'm just going to take that off. Just because I normally don't use my tablet outside, but if I did, that is a very nice feature to have. And the other one I'm just going to use on the stock browser I normally use, which is Dolphin. I usually use Dolphin or Chrome. Uh, for my job, I like uh, Dolphin more because it does uh, do certain websites um, that Chrome will not just because of the whole flash thing. Now the feature that's nice about this is the pen actually. The pen allows you to have a mouse just like a desktop experience. So on websites such as bestbuy.com I can actually go over the product and go to a tab within it. Now, if you actually um, did not have this pen, you could actually not do that. It would normally be that you would have to touch products, then touch this, and then it wouldn't even give me time for that tab to load. But with this, you actually can go over the product and see other tabs, which is something unique only to this tablet that was, was lost in translation on a tablet beforehand. So I think that's a really nice feature, and it's something that we might take for granted that we can um, that we can do on a desktop that you could not do on a tablet previously. So it's something that I find just to be a lot better desktop-like experience that you can only do with the Note 10.1. All right, guys. So this has been uh, you know benefits of browsers on the Galaxy Note 10.1. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.